it's another beautiful running dam with another beautiful mcp server so yeah in this video we are going to create another mcp server and this time we are going to connect our cloud desktop with mongodb database so if you are not aware what is mongodb it's a no sql database which is i think widely used nowadays yesterday one of my client asked me to create an mcp server for their laptop store and they are using mongodb database so i thought i should uh, let you know how you can create your own mcp server for this database for this purpose uh, obviously i'm not going to use their data uh, but i have generated some dummy laptops data uh, for the sake of this tutorial uh, first of all just go to the cloud.mongodb.com and create an account it's completely free uh, after this you are going to find uh, this type of interface here we have mongodb atlas so there are two ways uh, you can use mongodb database either uh, through atlas which is their cloud platform or you can download the mongodb locally and use the local version uh, but in this video uh, we are going to use this mongodb atlas and the process will remain the same for uh, both uh, databases so if you are not on this page uh, all you need to do is to click on this organization drop down menu and select your organization after selecting the organization you might find this project zero project by default yeah uh, so uh, we are going to create a new project uh, just click here uh, give the project a name uh, i'll call it mongo agent and keep everything as it is click next and now uh, i'm going to be the project owner uh, if you have multiple members in this organization then obviously you can select them uh, but since in this organization i'm alone so that's why i'm going to be the project owner and create the project after creating the project in mongodb you need to set up the cluster uh, don't worry the process is quite simple uh, all you need to do is to click here create cluster and this is going to ask you a couple of questions just answer them uh, first of all uh, we are going uh, to select the cluster type uh, since it's a free tutorial so we are going to select free then the name is going to be cluster 0 I'm going to use AWS provider and the closest region to me is this Mumbai and just click on this create deployment this might take a few seconds so let's wait after this this is I think one of the most important step in this whole procedure and the reason is that the MongoDB Atlas isn't going to reveal this password to you so make sure to copy this password and save it in a secure place after this just click on this create database user and then you can choose the connection method but i think we will come to this connection method later on so just close this window for now and if you go to the clusters uh, you will find all of your clusters so we have just created this cluster zero if you have changed the name then you will find the cluster with that particular name so there are two important things which you need to make sure uh, first of all we need to change the database access so if you have somehow closed the previous window then you might not find this subscriber one so all you need to do is to click here add new database user and then select this password enter the password for that new user or you can auto generate it i give some description and then select the role so by default mongodb atlas provides us three different roles the atlas admin which will have all privileges and then we have read write to any database and then only read to any database for example if you are creating a production level uh, chat bot mcp server uh, then obviously you just need to select this only read any database because we don't want our chatbot to write to our database uh, but for this video 
I'm going to stick with this Atlas admin but I think uh, the first user is also by default Atlas admin so yeah I don't need to create another user but if you don't have that user just click on here add user and this will create the user and you will see your user right here so for example if I click on this edit uh, and as you can see uh, this user is atlas admin so it has all the privileges after creating the user the next step is to whitelist ip addresses again go to this menu and select this network access inside this network access by default uh, this will be the ip address so currently the mongodb cluster is running on this IP address so you can send request to this cluster from this cluster yeah so if you try to access this cluster outside this cluster then obviously you will not be able to access it because your IP address is not here in production grad applications the servers are being hosted on some sort of uh, VPS so uh, just copy that VPS IP address and add it right here but in this case uh, since we are just doing local testing that's why I'm going to whitelist all the IP addresses allow access from anywhere otherwise in the again in the production grid uh, you need to paste the server IP address either it's VPS uh, it's cPanel whatever it is you need to paste that IP address right here but for me I'll say allow access from anywhere and then confirm it so these are two changes you need to make first the database access and then the network access after setting this up uh, you need to download then mongodb compass so just go to mongodb.com slash product slash tool slash compass so this is a, a graphical way of interacting with the mongodb database uh, it's like uh, my php admin sort of thing for mysql uh, so uh, I hope you are familiar with a bit of my SQL if not don't worry I just forget what I said so just download this mongodb campus and after downloading it uh, all you need to do is to go back to this clusters under databases on your mongodb atlas and just click on this connect right in front of your cluster name and then uh, from this drop down menu although it's quite big drop down menu uh, you need to select this compass so just select compass and this is going to show you this uh, connection string if you haven't downloaded the mongodb compass yet you can also download it by clicking on this button so just copy this connection string we need it and after installing the mongodb compass just search for mongodb compass and i already have these two clusters so now let's connect another cluster you might find a blank connection list uh, just click on this plus icon uh, remove this uri uh, paste the connection string which we have copied from the mongodb atlas and now you need to replace this part with the password which you have provided to the user so let's remove it and let's paste the password after pasting the password let's save and connect and as you can see we have successfully connected to the mongodb atlas by default we have admin config and local collections uh, let's create here a new collection by clicking on this plus icon and give the database a name i'll call it laptops db and this is going to be the database name and inside this database by default i want this laptops collection so since this mongodb is no sql uh, in NoSQL connection means a table so if you are familiar with SQL databases in SQL we call collections table and in NoSQL we call stable collections so uh, I, they, are, they are both same things so create, create database and now 
this is our database and inside that database we have a table or a collection and currently this collection is empty now we need to add the data so click here add data in the real world scenario obviously you will be provided with the data but since we are simulating the real world scenario that's why we need to first create that simulation for ourselves so just add the data i'm going to import data from json you are going to find this dummy data down below as well so select the json file and import it so again uh, i have just 30 documents and with this our simulated environment is ready now it's time to switch our gears to our main project and that is creating the mongodb agent so just go to the directory where you want to create the uv project open the command prompt there enable the powershell by typing powershell and then just say uv init and give the project a name so it is probably third tutorial so tute underscore zero three go to this folder and create a virtual environment then activate that virtual environment and now we need to install uh, two things one is the mcp cli so uv add and then we need to install PyMongo as well. So PyMongo. So with PyMongo, we are going to interact with the uh, MongoDB database. And now let's open this project in VS Code. So the agent in this case is going to be very simple. Um, all we need is just a function. So let's first import the required libraries, the fast MCP, the PyMongo library and uh, some data types. After this, instantiate the fast MCP. I'll call it MongoDB Atlas agent and the dependencies are PyMongo. Now it's time to create the tool. So let me write the code quickly, then I'll explain it. So the code will look uh, something like this don't worry uh, we are going to provide a query and then the collection name so by default the collection name is going to be laptops and the database name will be laptops db uh, same as these two laptops db and laptops then we need to provide the connection string so just go to mongodb atlas click on these three dots and just click here copy connection string and paste that connection string right here and then these are some uh, mongodb specific things projections limit how many things we want then do we want to sort it or not so these are the detail so the projection means which fields do i need to include in the results and how many number of results we want to return this will be controlled by this limit and then we have sort so do we want to return the sorted result or not again this is the documentation which cloud desktop will see and then this is going to return us the list of dictionaries because the mongodb database is going to give us data in json format so it will be a list of json and python is going to interpret that json as dictionary so dictionaries and json are analogous to each other and then we also have some errors it's important to let the cloud know about these errors as well so first of all we need to connect to our mongodb database just like we connected our mongodb compass to our mongodb database and then we need to access this particular database which in this case is going to be laptops db and inside this database we need to access the laptops collection and then we need to execute this query along with the projection so again what does projection means it's a fancy name of telling the mongodb database which fields you need to return to me and then if sorting is true then we need to sort the results and we also need to limit the results convert them to the list 
close the connection and return the results simple as that so up till now we have been discussing these mcp tools but we haven't touched the resources yet so let's touch the resources as well in the resources i'm going to tell my cloud desktop what is the expected format or schema of this database although the NoSQL databases are schema-less but still there is some sort of pattern in almost uh, every database so let's provide that expected schema as a resource so the resource looks something like this the one important thing which you need to keep in mind is this format you need to follow this format while specifying the string in these double quotes of this resource function so first of all you need to tell the protocol uh, which in this case is going to be mongodb so again this is just for sake of providing information to the cloud okay so again the protocol it could be any name but since we are dealing with mongodb so let's keep the protocol as mongodb and then we have colon followed by two forward slashes again this format should be as it is and then you need to provide the host in this case uh, i have just skipped the host uh, because uh, i don't want to provide this uh, long connection string which is where it is yeah which is right here and then uh, i'm just providing some extra information regarding the database and the collection and after this we need another function which is going to just return the expected schema so the expected schema is going to look something like this we have brand model processor ram storage etc etc so i'm just returning this json from this resource and this is what the resource does after creating this all we need to do is to install it so just type here uv install man.py it's not uv install it's uv add <laughs> sorry uh, i'm really enjoying the weather so it's neither uv add nor uv install it's mcp install so our mongodb atlas agent have been added to cloud config now go to cloud desktop make sure you have quitted this cloud desktop from this icon tray because it is not going to load that newly created server then and now as you can see we have 15 mcp and let's see where is our execute yeah so here we go we got our execute mongodb query function and now if you click on this attached from mcp you are going to see your resources so just choose an integration and here is our resource just add this resource and now let's let's ask this client to find the most expensive laptop in our database so allow for this chat okay so we got an error let it try so yeah we got uh, this result it's sr16 with this cost and now let's see whether it has generated the correct result or not so just go to mongodb compass and under this laptops collection uh, just click on this options button and i'm going to sort by price minus one and then let's find it and yeah it is exactly the same laptop gigabyte and sr16 so this means our agent is working fine i hope you have understood how you can create your little mongodb agent through which you can communicate with your mongodb database and in the next video we are going to learn something new and i'll see you there bye bye